uh, but uh, you, you get dealers that say if you do them smaller, uh, this just annoys me. And there are other people that um, sort of like the colourful ones, and uh, I think that I, I just do them, and then I try and find a market for them. Uh, but uh, no criticism that anybody has ever made has ever stopped me from doing what I was doing or made me alter. In this business of, of finding a market, how do you go about selling paintings in Scotland? Well, for me, because of the position I was in, uh, the, the, the usual thing that art students will do when they first leave is start sending in their pictures to the RSA and the Institute. Um, but I, I realised that that was a waste of time for me. And I more or less set off for London with my pictures under my arm. And I, I, I did that a great many times before I, I finally found somebody that would be, was prepared to exhibit them. And my advice to anybody is really take your pictures down to London. I'm not saying that it's the pictures shown in London are better than the ones shown in Scotland, except that there you have a great many galleries. And after you've hopped your pictures around the London galleries, you have more idea of their real value. If you keep them at home, you can kid yourself that they're all sorts of things. But by actually doing it, you do learn a, a great deal. Sometimes you're, you're allowed to end up throwing them in the river. But, <laughs> but uh, anybody that wants to do it, I can give them all sorts of advice. You know, like, don't get caught in the Bond Street underground at five o'clock with four feet long paintings under your arm. You, you've got to know where all the left luggages are. And, but <laughs> this has nothing to do with art, but it's very practical if you're actually going to do it. And you can't afford taxis. Nowadays, I, I tend to leave my pictures at a central spot and take a taxi. <laughs> are you just not interested in exhibiting at the Academy and other establishment shows in Scotland? Not in the slightest. It's not, um, it's not sour grapes, I'm sure it isn't. Uh, and I, I don't think that they... I, I have said that you sell pictures according to the value of the walls that they're hanging on. This doesn't mean that pictures that aren't hanging on valuable walls are necessarily no good. I think that it is possible that there are good pictures hanging there in the academy. It's just not something... I think that there is a whole social thing attached to it which just doesn't appeal to me at all. And I think that you've got to find your own place in a terribly difficult, fluid sort of situation where every artist has to find his own way of surviving in it, or outside it. Uh, I don't know if I'm in it or out of it. <laughs> um, and I, I don't, I wouldn't like to say exactly what's going to, to happen next. I, I've never been under contract to anybody. I've never been a member of a trade union. I, I, I don't do things that commit me to any particular course of action, and I, perhaps there is a security in being a member of these organizations, which I, I lack, but probably because I have found that I can survive completely on my own through necessity, I am now quite happy with the position that I'm in, even if it is a sort of isolated one. Yes, it's, 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 it's very isolated by choice. Um, the family earlier on were talking about the, the, the effect that this way of life has had on, on their way of life. Do you, and I, I don't mean this in any critical sense, but do you, do you think that the role of the artist is of necessity a very selfish one? Selfish or selfless? And I, I, I don't know. I, I think that what I have done has been selfless. I don't think... 
No, 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 way. I, I've been completely selfish. I cannot answer you. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yes, but you do understand the question. I, I do understand yeah. the question. Yeah. Uh, but you, you write, so you must uh, see my problem. Is it, is it a lonely existence? Despite, despite the family? Not, not at all. No. I, I wouldn't say it's lonely, no. I, I, I think I, certainly if it is lonely in that I spend a great deal of time alone, I enjoy being alone so that this is not loneliness. I think loneliness is when you're in a state that you don't want to be in. I think loneliness is an unpleasant state while being alone is not unpleasant. But I do spend a great deal of time alone. You, you, you saw how long it took me to do those things. <laughs> there are a lot of them. So. How much self-doubt will you still admit to? Oh, a great deal. Oh, yeah. I, 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 full of it. When oh. and how do you know that any particular painting has come off? Not for about six months. If I keep the picture for about six months, then all what I was said earlier up about um, my wife not being able to taste her own, like, enjoy her own baking because she tastes the ingredients. Um, after about six months, I forget what went into it and start to see it for itself. And some of them I, I, I see as milestones that are important because perhaps I, I did something for the first time, while others, pot boiler is a, a horrid word to use about any picture, but more or less I do start one as another one, as one ends, I start another one. This means that I don't always, I, I certainly don't sit around waiting for inspiration. I think that that's fatal, but I think inevitably some are better than others. What are your feelings when a painting, let's say it's one of the good ones six months later, when it's sold and it goes out of the door forever? I, I'm terribly lucky in that most of the people that have bought them are, are terribly nice, and a lot of them have become almost friends. Some of them I, I, I still keep up with, and I, I still see them as a result of them originally buying a picture. Um, young people have bought them. Um, I, I don't regret that. They've all been terribly nice and said that if I ever have a, a retrospective exhibition, just let them know and they'll let me have it back. But I, I've never done anything of the sort, you know. They're their pictures. But I, I'm not, I, I don't really shed tears when I sell them. I, if anything, I'm flattered. <laughs> Cry all the way to the back. That's right. That's exactly it. <laughs>